Welcome to Learn and Draw. I am Anup Desai, working as lecturer. In this video, we learn to draw an example of isometric projections using the AutoCAD software. So, in the problem, an orthographic view of an object will be given. So, we have to convert it into isometric view. So, we can do this by using the isometric axis that is the x axis y axis and the z axis so along the x axis we have to draw the length of an object along the y axis we have to draw the height of an object and along the z axis we have to draw the width of an object so the x axis will be drawn at an angle of 30 degrees to the baseline y axis at an angle of 90 degrees to the baseline and z axis on the right side at an angle of 30 degrees to the baseline in the autocad so we can draw this axis by using the f5 button so we can change the cursor to x y and z axis using the f5 option now let's start drawing Example 2 of isometric projections using the AutoCAD software. So, for the particular problem, so let's set the units. So, I will type here uh, units, press enter. So, I will change this to 0 millimeter. Okay. So, next, let's set the limits. So, let's take the lower left corner as 0. 0 enter next the upper uh, right corner for example 300 300 enter so then let's zoom this z enter a enter okay so uh, next one is for drawing the isometric projection we have to change this cursor okay to isometric scale that is by typing the command s n a p s t y l press enter value is 1 press enter now you can see the cursor is changed to isometric scale now this is the uh, question that is top one is the front view and the bottom one is the top view of the component so here you can see it is a from the top you can see it is a rectangle of sides a 80 mm along the x axis and 40 mm along the z axis and also the height is 20 plus 20 that is we draw the height along the uh, y axis that is 20 mm and 20 mm towards the height okay so first let's uh, draw this uh, top view that is uh, length of 80 mm and width of 40 mm. So the length as we know is drawn along the x axis and the width is drawn along the z axis. So for that we will take a line here. So we will select any one of the uh, point. Next here we have to select the ortho mode. The length is 80 mm. So we will type 80 press enter. Next, for width, type 40, press enter. Next, again, length 80, press enter. Next, width 40, press enter. So, we have drawn the base here of length 80 and width of 40 mm, right? Next is, uh, we have to draw the front portion here as you can see from the front view we have to draw the front view over here okay so let's draw this one so i'll select the line here okay so next from this point i will draw the height 
to change uh, the cursor to y axis we have to type f5 so now the cursor is changed along the y axis the height is 20 so i will type 20 press enter okay so next you can see uh, there is one more height of 20 mm and from here from the end to the next point it is of 20 mm so again i will draw height of 20 mm next change the axis by typing f5 so now along the x axis i will draw the length of 20 mm next i will change this ortho mode okay then i will join this to this point enter okay so i don't want these lines here now i will delete this now this much portion is completed next from this point i will again select the ortho mode so along this point i will draw a line of length equal to 10 mm press enter next along the y axis the length is 20 mm press enter next along the x axis again the length is 20 mm and along the y axis length is 20 mm then along the z axis uh, sorry along the y x axis the length is 10 mm so next is from this point i will draw a line of height equal to 20 mm okay so next is select the line again select this point unselect the ortho mode and join this line to this end point okay so now the uh, one part of the front view is completed so back side part is left okay so instead of drawing this whole thing again so what we can uh, actually do is i can select all these lines copy this to this back side okay how we can do you have to select here copy button next select the objects so i will select these objects one two three four five six seven eight nine so i will select these nine lines and i will copy this to the back side so next after selecting this we have to press enter next it is asking the distance so i have to select this is the starting point and now this is the ending point then right click enter so now the whole thing okay is drawn on the back side also okay now the last step is we have to connect the front portion and back portion by drawing the lines okay so i'll select the line here then line to this line enter repeat line select this line connect to so select this line and connect to this line repeat line connect this line repeat line connect these lines repeat line repeat line repeat line so now you can see i have drawn all these uh, lines okay so now the last step left for us is to draw the hidden lines which are not visible so we have to show the hidden lines okay so for that first load the hidden line so here we will go to line type other and here i will select load the first one that is iso dash will be the hidden lines i will select iso dash press on ok here again press ok right so now the hidden lights are loaded next i will select the line and show those lines in the hidden lines so this is the line this is one line which is 
at the background so this is one more line so next this is the uh, third line next this is the fourth line next this is the fifth line and this is the sixth line so these lines are at the background okay so since we have to show these lines in the dotted line i will go to this line type and change this into dotted okay so now last step is we have to name the dimensions so for that go to here linear so now you can see this is uh, nothing but 20 mm aligned so we'll select aligned this point to this point this is uh, 40 mm repeat now this is 80 mm right repeat it is 10 mm repeat now this is 20 mm repeat this is 10 mm this completes the problem thank you for watching the video for more videos on engineering graphics and autocad subscribe to my channel learn and draw